Here we are in section 4.2 with numbers 19 through 28. Here we have a polynomial here and it says evaluate when x is 4. So we're going to take that 4 and we're going to stick it up in there, right there, and well, we're not going to stick it anywhere there. So we have 4 squared minus 10 times 4 plus 25. This is 16 minus 40 plus 25. 16 minus 40 is a negative 24 plus 25, that equals 1. Number 20. We're going to stick in negative 5 for this one, so this is 3 times negative 5 to the 4th, plus 4 times negative 5 squared, minus 10 times a negative 5, minus 19. Wow, so this is 3 times positive 625 plus 4 times positive 25. It's going to be a positive 50 and then minus 19. Uh, punch that into your calculator and we get 2006. Number 21. So it says that a is negative 1 and b is 3. So we stick in negative 1 to the 4th plus negative 1 squared times 3 squared. That's where b goes in. Plus negative 1 times 3 minus 3 cubed plus 5. Well, one to the f negative 1 to the 4th, that's 1. So we get 1 uh, plus negative 1 squared is 1 times 3 squared, that's 9, uh, plus a negative 9 there. Oh, that's good. And then minus 3 cubed, that's 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 plus 5. So we have negative 21 is what that comes out to be. Good, number 22. So 2 goes in for x, so we get 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared times a negative 4 plus 2 times a negative 4 squared plus a negative 4. So 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. Um, we're going to have minus 3 times 4 times 4, negative 4, so that's a plus 48. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 times 2, that's a plus 32, and then minus a 4. So when we punch that into our calculators, this is 88 minus 4, that's 84. Good deal. On 23 through 28, it says to simplify it, which really means we're just combining like terms. Write your answer in descending order. So we've got to put it so that the highest powers are first. So of simplifying, those two can go together and make a 4x. So we have 5x squared plus 4x minus 9, and nothing else can be simplified and is now in descending order. Number 24, so we have uh, the 4x and the 17x can go together. Oh, and the 3x. All of those x's can go together, and there's some that can go together. So let me see, the highest power is going to be the fifth, so let's do those first. We get negative 6 and positive 15, that's 9x to the fifth, and then the x to the third power, and then 4 and 17 is 21, plus 3 is 24, that's 24x right there. Did we use them all up? We did, and it's now in descending order. Number 25. Um, we've got this guy and this guy that we can put together as a negative 6b to the 14th. Uh, but if we try to do descending order, we better put this guy first. So 5b to the 20th plus b to the 19th minus 6b to the 14th. There we go. Good. Descending order, make sure these numbers, the degrees, are headed from the greatest to the least. Okay, 4k minus 12k, that's a negative 8k. Put the 5k squared first because it's got the biggest power, minus 4. Again, that's what it told us to do. It's not necessarily crucial to writing down a polynomial, but it's a standard way that gets, get, it gets written. Okay, any combining of like terms here? Ooh, those are close, but not quite. This guy has a y squared. x cubed y, uh... The only thing I can see is that these two go away, because one's a positive and one's a negative. So here's degree 4, so we go not negative 9x cubed y plus 
4xy squared minus 5xy. Good, and number 28. Ooh, how many things can we put together here? The y squareds will go together. The x to the fourth, nope, that's a different x cubed. So 7 halves minus 3 halves, that's 4 halves, or 2y squared. So 7 halves minus 3 halves is 4 halves. That gives us 2y squared. Um, and the 7y is over here. We better put the x to the fourth first. It's the biggest degree. And then plus 1 third x cubed. There we go. There's our polynomial. Good.